1968, rebellion swept throughout the world and there were major assassinations. America was bogged down in an unpopular war in Vietnam, which became known as the TV War. The following is a calendar of events that marks the tumultuous year of 1968. January the 5th, Czechoslovakia. The year began violently when Czechoslovakia, attempting to liberalise its country and throwing off its communist yoke, voted in a liberal called Alexander Dubček, who was elected on January the 5th. They had a few months of freedom, which became known as the Prague Spring. In August, Soviet armed forces invaded and overthrew the newly elected government. A hardline communist rule was reinstated, where Dubček was deposed and arrested the following April. January the 23rd, North Korea. North Korea captured the Navy intelligence vessel USS Pueblo and its crew. Where US authorities claimed the ship had been in international waters in the Toshima Strait, North Korea disagreed and held the 83 crew members in a prisoner of war camp before the two countries could negotiate their release. January the 30th to 31st, North Vietnam. North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces launched a coordinated series of attacks against Hue, Saigon, and various other key targets in South Vietnam. The Tet Offensive surprised US and South Korean forces and caused heavy casualties. It would eventually be a turning point in the US involvement in the Vietnam War. Media coverage brought the full horrors of an already unpopular war home to TV screens in 56 American homes. On February the 18th, the US State Department announced the highest US casualty toll of the Vietnam War, where 543 Americans lost their lives and 2,547 were wounded. In the following months, President Johnson's administration became increasingly unpopular along with growing opposition to US involvement in Vietnam, with student demonstrations and urban unrest. On March the 16th, US ground troops brought about the demise of more than 500 Vietnamese men, women and children, known as the My Lai Massacre in South Vietnam. April the 4th, Martin Luther King Jr. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated while he was standing on the balcony outside his room at a Memphis hotel. News of King's assassination sparked rioting in dozens of cities across the country. On June the 8th, two months after King's demise, Ray was arrested at London's Heathrow Airport. Ray was convicted and died in prison in 1998. April 23rd, student protests around the world. Several hundred students gathered on the campus of Columbia University in New York City to protest the Vietnam War. For nearly a week, the student protesters occupied several buildings on Columbia's campus. University officials called in the NYPD, who broke up the demonstration beating and arresting hundreds of protesters. On May the 6th, the protests at Columbia exemplified the wave of student activism that swept the globe. There were mass demonstrations in Poland, West Germany and Mexico City. On May the 6th, one of the largest demonstrations took place in Paris and was known as Bloody Monday, where students and police clashed in Paris's Latin Quarter, resulting in hundreds of injuries. As the protests continued, millions of French workers began striking in sympathy with the students, eventually leading President Charles de Gaulle to dissolve the National Assembly, call for immediate elections and threaten military intervention. June the 5th, Robert F. Kennedy. After winning the California primary, Robert F. Kennedy was leaving the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles after addressing a large crowd of supporters when he was shot by the young Jordanian immigrant Saran Saran. Born in Jerusalem, Saran later said he assassinated Kennedy out of concern for the Palestinian cause and had felt betrayed by the Senate's support for Israel during the Six-Day War in 1967. August 26th to the 29th, Chicago Democratic Convention. When the Democratic National Convention opened in August, thousands of students and war activists, including groups like the Yippies, Students for a Democratic Society and the Black Panthers poured into Chicago, where they were met with violent police response called out by Mayor Richard Daly. TV cameras captured the bloody clashes between police and demonstrators, and the Carter Convention ended in Humphrey's nomination as head of an embattled Democratic Party. October the 16th, Olympic protests. 
After being awarded gold and bronze medals in the Summer Olympics in Mexico City, U.S. athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos bowed their heads and raised their black glove fists in a recognized salute to the Black Power Movement as they were playing the national anthem. For this action, Smith and Carlos were thrown off the U.S. Olympic team. However, back home in the black community, their silent protest against racial discrimination lives on as one of the most iconic images in sports history. In 2005, a statue showing Smith and Carlos on the medal stand was erected on the campus of San Jose State University. December the 24th, Moon Orbit. The turbulent year ended on a positive note when three astronauts aboard Apollo 8, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders and Frank Borman, became the first humans to orbit the Moon. Apollo 8 circled the Moon 10 times on Christmas Eve, scoring the latest US achievement in its space race with the Soviet Union. 